Today we're gonna check out episodes five and six of Bungo Stray Dogs. Let's jump into it. Logo reveal. But before we do, most of you are not subscribed to the channel, so support the content if you enjoy it and join the community if you haven't already. And you can find the full link as well as exclusives over on Patreon. Yeah, he's seeing just how strong everybody is now. Why does everybody treat him like this? This feels weird. Learn. Wait, what? I don't know how to take the train. So he's like super deduction, but like common sense just isn't there, right? Looks so angry. Damn. Maybe not the way you want to phrase that. It's kind of a little, a little bit rude. The man is one of the bad guys? Or... It's... What's his name? Yeah. Yeah. I should have thought about that. Uh, yeah. Whoa. Now, I understand... So I just want to say, I do understand that he, this, this is like a thing. It's like, he's based on a writer. The writer, I guess, committed double suicide. And that's why this character's obsession is with suicide and stuff. And I feel like it doesn't translate as well to a non-Japanese audience as it does to a Japanese audience, since I'm not exactly aware of the history of all of these writers and, and artists, etc., that these characters draw inspiration from and their names from. But you know, maybe I'll get used to it. There's three seasons of this, right? Gotta get through 36 episodes. I mean, I'm pretty sure I can get used to it in that time frame. Currently though, it's like, it is weird. Is he holding his arm? Oh, never mind. That's, that's his own hand. I thought he was like, like, you know, grabbing his arm. I was like. <laughs> Uh, no! No, no, no. Dude, I have an irrational fear of stuff dealing with my teeth. Like, I have a, whenever I go upstairs, go walk upstairs, I always, like, there's this thought in the back of my mind that I'm gonna trip, slip, whatever, smack my mouth. And break my teeth. I'm always scared of that. It's very weird. I know it's irrational. I know it's probably never going to happen, but I just can't help but think it. It's very weird. I don't know. It's an irrational fear. So anytime curb stomping is brought up, it's like, ah, I just can't deal with this. Damn, he just told us everything. He's always an asshole. Are they goofy glasses or are they just like ice glasses? You know, I was going to say that, but I uh, I didn't want to be wrong. Oh, nope. Didn't know it was him. I thought he was pointing at the detective guy. Okay, never mind. I was wrong. Well, shit. Ah. Oh, no, it's kind of sus right now. Like he said, he's got a super ability, bro. Ain't nobody. Are they? Are people not really aware of the super abilities? Because it sounded like the one dude was aware. Um, our main character, whose name I still don't remember. 
Yikes, kind of turns out that he can. I wonder what she said. We'll find out soon, in, within the next minute or two. Damn, dude. That's a crazy ability. And the fact that him having this ultra detective ability makes it so he has no common sense is like, hmm. Bro, all he did was like use his ability. It's like you turning into a tiger and then like beating someone up. Same thing. Bro, what's the evidence, bro? Oh. oh, he just really a detective. This man is Batman. Random question. How did you guys feel about the new Batman movie? I thought it was really good because of how like a detective and stuff it was. Oh man, y'all almost got me teared up off of that one. Damn, dude. That's actually so sad. That's crazy. With no ability. He'll discover some shit about you. I like it. Oh, okay. Next one. Okay. Alright, next one. Wait, so like what? He writes something in the thing and then it, basically it comes true or something like that? I'm glad we're going to learn a little bit more about him. The ultra deduction is so sick. Of all the abilities, so far ultra deduction is like my second favorite. Oh my god, this man's high on shrooms. I don't know if it takes effect that fast. Depends on when he ate it, I guess. Oh, poisonous shroom. Oh, it's non lethal. <laughs> We gotta deal with this man for now. Yeah, you're the yeah, exactly. I was gonna say that. You're the recruit, is what I was gonna say. Well, new recruit, you know. What is this? They're going underground? The basement? What the fuck is that with this fish? Who is this guy? Within four years? That's... Dude, he's interesting. How much of a role does that damn notebook play in everything he does? What, the blue messenger? Azure messenger? It's just a shade of blue, right? 
What the fuck? He's such a bully, dude. Oh, hell no, dude. You have me fucked up. I'm not going in there. Oh, what the fuck? I don't know. I feel like there was still more. You could have still breathed a little bit. Bulletproof. Or not. I was wrong. Yeah, you look like a cab driver. Bro, this guy is like a real life saw. A jigsaw. I never actually watched any of the saw movies, you know that? I've never seen a saw movie. Like I feel like I've seen like clips from like parts of saw movies. Maybe just from the first one. I've never actually watched a saw movie all the way through, like actually just sit down and watch the movie. So psychopaths are pretty fucking interesting. I don't know. She's the one! He's working the devil suicide angle. Oh! Oh, I want to know. I want to know! Damn! Oh, didn't I initially say it was him? He gonna die right now. The girl was with the port mafia? Oh, never mind. Oh, man, is dead, bro. I've never understood somebody hiding behind a door. Like, there's, like, bullets coming. You hide behind a door? Is it really strong enough to absorb all the bullets? And how do you not get shot in the foot? Okay, yeah, so he writes something in the book, and then he can... It, it creates. Okay, yeah. Kind of like, um... Creaty, in a sense. My hero. I should just, like... Except he's got to write it down first. Interesting. This man always showing up to fuck shit up. Damn, how strong is this man that he was able to do that just now? Jump out of that? Get the fuck out of here. I like this. So they're going to be solving like uh, mysteries or whatever every episode. Maybe not every, every episode, but you know, like most episodes. That's what they're doing. They're solving mysteries. I fuck with it. That used to be his leader. Like he used to be part of his group. Mm. Or is he the Azur King? Does I? Yo, what if all along Dazai's the bad guy? Parallel to uh, what? Episode two, right? Episode two was a, sort of the same thing. Oh, wait, is this? I gotta know that this just previews at the end of the episodes. Wouldn't it be crazy if Dazai was a bad guy? And we find that out in like season, I don't know, two or the end of season one or in season three. I don't know. At some point in time, that'd be pretty insane. But at the same time, I feel like probably not gonna happen. I 
don't think. Kunikita? I don't think it's him. Oh, and Rokuzo is the hacker. Sorry, I'm reading like kind of synopsis on this episode that we just watched. Okay. I could see Dazai potentially being this Azure King. I could also potentially see him being a bad guy. You know, at the same time, I feel like probably not though, just because, you know, he's, um, pretty good guy been solid he hasn't really done anything that would make me assume he's the bad guy i really enjoyed this i thought it was fucking great honestly all the different detective work done here i really really like the previous episode with like the ultra detective i thought that that one was really cool um learning more about rompo and like his not ability ability dope I, I want to see more from him. I want to see him in action more, doing his whole deductive stuff. And I like the fact that he wasn't necessarily the one that broke it down to us, you know? I like the fact that it was Dazai who broke it down to us and explained like, oh, this, this, that, and this is how he was able to, 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 to figure it out. I like that because if it was Dazai, it would have just felt more pretentious and, you know? And I also really like the fact that, that he, you know, doesn't have an ability, but has an ability, you know what I'm saying? That's really dope. I'm starting to like Kunikita even more. You know, I, I, there was never a point where I didn't like him. There's nobody so far that I don't like, but Kunikita, Kunikita, we got a little bit more info on him. I like the fact that he's got this book of his ideals. Just really like, you want to get to know him? Read through that book. I like how he's got it all planned out. He's like, within four years, I'm going to find the woman I love this and that and that and this. Maybe that's also part of his ability, ability, the whole ideals thing. I know that he can write down something, tear it out of the book and then it creates it. Like he could be like minigun and then he creates a minigun. I don't know. Maybe I assume I actually don't know. Maybe he create cars that way too. I don't really know the actual intricacies of his ability. Maybe it is a lot more like Creati. I know that I, I bring her up. What, Yaoyorozu? I don't even remember her name anymore. Maybe that's what it is. I don't fucking know. The girl from, from My Hero, right? How she can only create things if she's aware of like how they're created. Maybe that's the same case with him. He can only create things if he's aware of how it's created. Nonetheless, I like him. I like a rom Rompa? Rompo. I thought he was really cool. And I want to learn more about Dazai and more about this Azure messenger and and more about, you know, our main character. Just, just everything in this world is really interesting to me. The fact that there are these abilities and they do this detective shit, man. I fuck with detective shit. That's cool. I like that. Solving crimes, mysteries. It's awesome because I like the mystery element more than anything else. With that said, I'd love to know what you all thought about these two episodes down in the comments below. How do you feel about Rompo? I'm sure most people love him. Um, also, what do you think about my Dazai theory? Think it's cool? No, actually, you know what? If you're watching this, you're probably aware of the whole three seasons so you already know whether he is or isn't and if that's the case i don't want you talking about it because that's just spoilers you know i i don't want to be spoiled i don't want you guys to be like oh correct not correct you're on the right track none of that shit dude none of that it's big spoilers though it is suspicious that he once was with the port mafia and is now not was it like um like he turned against them this or that i'm not really sure exactly and i don't think anybody else is aware that he was with them so could be let me know what you thought about this one down in the comments below and as always if you enjoyed the video then like the video and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss another one and until next time make sure you all keep it fresh peace <laughs>